my name's Peter, and I'm from a company called Ultraspark. And today we're going to show you how to fit electronic ignition into our Daimler Dart. It's a V8 2.5 engine. Believe it or not, this is the Ultraspark toolkit, and this is all you're going to need for fitting your Ultraspark electronic ignition. So let's take this away and we'll show you exactly what we, we've got here. This is our distributor, ignition coil and the battery, the most, well the three most important things on the ignition side of a vehicle. This car is fitted with two sets of points, dual points as they call it. So, to fit our electronic ignition kit, what we first need to do is to take the cap off, which we just have, and remove the rotor arm. This rotor arm we won't need anymore, so we're going to put that to one side. We're not going to need it. Because when we supply the Ultra Spark kit, it comes with a red rotor arm, brand new. This is the electronic ignition kit. Now, this kit here, is for a negative earth car. This particular car is positive earth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to fit a negative earth. So if you've got a negative earth car, please watch this uh, for the next couple of minutes. If you've got a positive earth car, we're going to fit a kit in the next couple of minutes after we've fitted this one. So first things first, what we need to do, believe it or not, is get hold of your Ultra Spark tool. <laughs> one tool. One screwdriver, that's all we need. First of all, we pull the lead off the uh, little connector here. This is the one that goes to the points and the condenser. We undo the two flat screws here that hold the points on. Now, be very careful not to drop these points down into the distributor. If you do, you're going to have to take the distributor out to ret re retrieve them. Um, which obviously is going to take you a, a lot longer than what it is just to fit a kitten. Got your two screws now, keep these screws, don't lose them, we're going to need them. Uh, there was a little screw hole in the condenser, but I've already removed it. Uh, we pull this little black thing out first of all, that's the little connector, and then we need to remove the two sets of points. So, put a screwdriver underneath them to lift them up, like so. And you remove them like that. So if you ever want to put them back in again, you've got them like that and you just slide them back in again. They're really, really easy. Now this is a negative earth kit, so everyone who's got negative earth cars, uh, listen up. First of all we pull this little metal thing away here. This, this is the uh, um, little felt thing that goes on the shaft and lubricates it. But you don't need that now because obviously our device doesn't actually touch the shaft at all. Now our little kit slides over the top of the two late locating uh, points that was holding the points on. We then slide our little blue clip into the same place the other black clip was on. So we slide that into there. Okay. Then all we need to do is put one of the screws back in here. We need to put a washer on as well to hold it in position, make sure it uh, doesn't come loose. Sometimes it's nice to put a little spring washer on there actually, sometimes just to stop it coming loose. It doesn't need to be over tightened. It's very unlikely to vi vibrate loose anyway. And that just fits on top of there. Now, there has to be an air gap between our module and the shaft. You've got eight little lugs on here. At the highest point, we need a uh, air gap of 0 0.0. 0.013 of a foul. Um, in other words, about a fag paper away from the actual shaft. We then fit our rotor arm over the top, like that. Okay. And then all we need to do, if this is a if you've got a negative earth car, this is all you need to do. You've got one red wire and one black and red wire. Now your black and red wire acts as the trigger for your electronic ignition system. So it acts the same as a set of points. So if you take the points lead away, which is this one here, you just pull that off and connect that straight up to where the points was originally. Okay, And your live wire, which is the red wire, 
goes onto the live side of the coil. So that will just go on there like that. Now this is a, a positive earth cast, so I'm not going to wire it up. But basically all you have is the two wires, again, black one to the negative side of the coil, red one to the positive side of the coil, and make sure that you've got a live feed going to this coil when you turn the ignition on. And that is as simple as that. Put your cap back on again. You know, once you've got your cap back on again, the car's all ready to start up. There's no need to retime the car, just start it up and it'll be spot on. The, this is set up exactly the same position as the points. Now we've done that, what I'm going to do now is show you how to fit a positive earth car. So anyone out there with a positive earth car, watch this. This is very important. Positive earth cars take a lot more wiring up and checking. Okay. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this off, this is the negative earth kit. Now with the positive earth car, uh, uh, positive earth cars, we've got a lot of extra wires as you can see, it's a lot more involved. There's an extra wire there, don't lose that one, that's quite important. We've got a very long black wire with a plastic cover over it. Okay. And we've got a black and red wire. Okay, so the black and red wire is the trigger for your, what would go to your points on your coil. Right, so what we do here is we slide the little electronic device over the top of the shaft, the two, the two locating pins, sorry, as we did before, and over the shaft. Slide your little blue clip into there. Now, as you can see, you've got an extra red wire here as well. What we need to do is put that red wire through here into the base plate. Now you need to use a washer and maybe a spring washer if you've got a spring washer as well, but you don't need it, but I always like to put a little spring washer just to make sure it doesn't come undone because this is obviously the live feed from your positive earth. So obviously this body here, the distributor, is positive. That is your positive feed, so obviously that livens up everything that you need to liven up. Okay, so that fits there like that. This wire here, this really long one, what we do is we, fit, we connect this to the fuse box, which will give you your negative feed. Now what I do with this is I like to pass it underneath here, pass it underneath these water pipes, and the little bar underneath there, by the heat sub controller. I mean, obviously, if you've got a Daimler V8, um, it's going to be slightly different how you connect this up and wire it up. But basically, this wire here then runs through here. Now, what I like to do is I like to run it alongside the original wiring loom. So all we do is we take that to the original wiring loom, run it right round to your fuse box, and pick up a fuse um, from your negative feed. So when you turn the ignition on, that becomes your negative feed. So this wire here, the black long one, is your negative. Then you're left with this red and black one. This is your trigger for your set of points. Uh, sorry, for, sorry, your trigger for your coil, which was originally the one for the set of points. So we now run that through there, and you can tape it up underneath so it all looks nice and neat. This then goes onto the coil, onto the negative side of the coil. Okay. Need to pull this old wire off. So that's it. Now you've got your trigger wire. You need the coil to be live. And the way to do that is to connect it to a live supply, which on this particular car, because it's positive earth, is the engine, is the chassis. So anywhere on the chassis, anywhere on the engine will be perfectly good. What I like, what I normally do though, is I normally connect the wire up there, and then you've got this long wire, you connect most people connect it to here. Okay, which makes it quite easy, but there's a, there's, a, there's a bolt there, so some people don't like to undo that bolt because it sometimes is a bit rusty, um, and I don't know what they're going to find when they undo it. So what I normally do is I undo the screw here on the battery terminal. Gives it a really good feed. You know you're going to be 100% there. There's nothing going to stop it because it's from there to there, and it's a good feed. Now, these, sometimes these bolts are a little bit long, so they stick up a bit. I actually cut this one down a little bit. So I slide that through there. You need a washer, maybe a, a two washers, um, or a spring washer, to give it a really good tight fit. Uh, as you screw it down, okay, screw it down here. You need 
your Ultra Spark tool kit again. So just screw that down there. Okay. And that is it. So now we've got our positive earth kit all connected up. It's nice then to just tape up all these wires, tidy them up, put them in the right place so you can't can't be seen. We then fit our red rotor arm. Do not fit the black rotor arm that you took off it originally. Make sure you fit the red rotor arm that you're given with the kit. Then you just basically put the distributor cap back on, in position, clip it back up, and now you're ready to start the car. There is a couple of little things there. I mean, there's a, that you would have uh, a couple of wires um, you need to tape up, or what I would do is I normally cut them and, and join them. This one here, which was your old points one, obviously that doesn't go nowhere now. So you can just put a bit of tape in it and just tuck it down there so it's out of the way. And also you've got the, the original one here that went to the point, so that's this one here that clips on there. Again, just tuck it around somewhere, tidy it up a little bit to make sure that it doesn't catch on anything and it's not laying about. If you need any help, um, you can always phone us. Uh, phone number is 01268. 857-880 or you can visit us on our website where there is a diagram uh, for both sets of uh, instructions for both types of modules. Um, the website address is www.ignitioncarparts.co.uk uh, All you need to do to get these up, if you just go to the help, help page there will be a link there to the, uh, the, the instructions you need.